Yo, here's a pretty cool physical modeling adjacent technique we can achieve by abusing send tracks. So basically what I've got here is a super short sort of impulse sound. And I want to resonate this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a send track and send this sound to the send. Um, kind of important that you do this pre-fader because we want to be able to mix these independently later. Um, so yeah, set set the send um, pre-fader and then send this into the send. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the send into itself. And what we'll get is a feedback loop. And the feedback loop kind of implies a pitch. So what we'll be able to hear. And be warned, this can get loud. You will always want a limiter on your bus here. And um, so we send this track to the send and then send the send to itself. And what you get is this. A kind of note. Now, if we add a little delay in here, I'm just going to use a time shift, which basically is a very simple delay. We can kind of tune this note. So that's pretty interesting. We can add a filter in here um, that we can use to damp this note. Now you will want to use a filter that doesn't introduce any latency. You can see in the inspector whether something adds latency to your tracks. Um, because um, EQ Plus, for example, adds a bit of latency because it's it's oversampled, I think. This means it'll change the, tu um, the tuning. So we can quickly just show you this. Adding EQ Plus to this track here. very subtly shifts the tuning. So you probably want something without latency. Although you heard the difference wasn't huge. So we can kind of damp this note. We can add non-linearities like filters into our feedback loop. Now, um, once again, these often have latency, so it's gonna change the tuning, but whatever, I'm just gonna accept that now. Some really interesting sounds there, I think. And then the really fun stuff starts happening once we add another send track or another. So we can kind of create these networks of send track that send audio to each other. So for example, on this send track, I'm just going to put a pitch shifter. And this isn't really physical modeling anymore. This is just sound design. And then basically I'm going to send the first send track to this track. And then this track here, back to the first send track. So it kind of goes out this track, into this track, gets pitch shifted and goes back. Now well, that's kind of interesting. So you can create all these really interesting feedback delay networks. Like this. Um, what I did here is basically I used this kind of technique to physically model a snare kind of inspired by a Zaya James video. So I've got the stick sound here. And let me just mute all the other sound. This is basically my trigger. In this case I use quite a metallic sound. Then I've got my, oh well, this is because of all the processing on this actually. Let me just turn that all off. Maybe you can hear it better then. So we've got the stick, then we've got the top membrane, which basically is hit by the stick and feeds back into itself. And then we've got the bottom membrane, which is tuned slightly differently, which also um, feeds back into itself, feeds into the top membrane and feeds into the snare wires. Which kind of feed back into themselves and the bottom membrane. And then we've got the reverb, which is fed by everything and doesn't really feed into anything. And all of these together, we get this kind of snare sound that we physically modeled. Uh, I've made a few attempts at these. Not all of these go super well. Here's, I think this one was a bit better. No, it wasn't. 
So yeah, if we add tons of effects to this, we can actually get it sounding kind of cool. But yeah, interesting technique for kind of making these sounds using these networks of, of resonating delay tracks. This one was really nice actually. Let me just turn off all the effects. So yeah, a bit quiet, but but really interesting kind of um, sound design technique using feedback delay networks on sand tracks. And of course, if you're willing to accept the latency, you can put any kind of effect on these sand tracks, like spectral stuff or delays or whatever nonsense you you can think of. Really, um, up to you. So yeah, uh, something to play around, around with feedback on sand tracks, uh, feedback networks of sand tracks, that kind of stuff. Putting different effects in there. Just always have an auto mute or a limiter and be, be ready at any moment for the sound to blow up because once the feedback kind of starts reinforcing itself because it gets louder with every cycle, this can get loud very, very quickly and this can get very painful for your ears. So um, limiter, always have a limiter. So yeah, cheers. <laughs>